David Milne was a Canadian painter, printmaker, and writer, born near Paisley, Ontario, in 1882. He was the last of ten children born to Scottish immigrant parents. He went to school in Paisley and Walkerton. Soon after graduation, he began teaching in a country school north of Paisley. At the age of 21, he moved to New York City where he studied at the Art Students League. In 1912, he married Frances May, and later they moved to Boston Corners, a small hamlet in Upper State New York, where Milne painted with oils and watercolors. His paintings were exhibited in New York's Armory Show of 1913, known as the art show that shocked America and marked the dawn of modernism in North America. Milne moved to Toronto in 1917 for basic training for World War I and was stationed in Quebec. He went to England as a war artist for a month, during which time World War I ended. Milne produced artworks of battlefields in France and Belgium, as well as that of soldiers at Kinmill Park Camp. From 1919 to 1929, Milne lived in and around Boston Corners, during which time he started focusing his artistic work on the landscape. James Clark, a patron of Milne's, sent him an etching press. Milne experimented with his techniques and developed a method of making color dry points. Since the tradition was to only use black on white paper, his idea of printing one color over another with different plates was remarkable. Influenced by the exhibitions in the Gallery of Modern Art promoter Alfred Stieglitz, Milne's approach to his subjects had a more modernist feel. He developed his own style that was stark yet beautiful. Milne would use black in his paintings to create an internal tension and white to express stillness. His works revealed a decorative sense and fluidity of touch. He chose simple, ordinary subjects and infused them with dignity and significance. Milne returned to Canada in 1929 to paint in Tomogamy, Weston, and Palgrave and sold his paintings to Vincent and Alice Massey. In 1933, he separated from his wife and moved to Port Severn, Ontario. In the late 1930s, Milne settled down in Uxbridge, Ontario with Kathleen Pavey, a nurse, and the two had a son in 1941. Milne spent the remainder of his life in relative seclusion, traveling to Algonquin Park and Baptiste Lake to paint the Canadian landscape. During the later years of his life, Milne returned to watercolors and more fanciful subjects. David Milne suffered a stroke in 1952. Following a series of small strokes, he died in Bancroft, Ontario on December 26, 1953. After Milne's death, exhibitions of his work were organized at the National Gallery of Canada and Hart House in Toronto. Over the decades, Milne's work has traveled across Canada, the United States, and Britain. In 1992, Canada Post issued the Red Nasturtiums David B. Milne 1937 stamp as part of their Masterpieces of Canadian Art series. In 2009, the Milne Estate gifted the Art Gallery of Ontario an extensive collection over, of over 2,700 objects, including paintings, letters, diaries, photographs, sketches, as well as his paint box and coat. The AGO has created the David Milne Center as a home for the Milne Archive. This space pays homage to his passion for nature and preference to work in isolation. David Milne is now recognized as one of Canada's foremost artists, influential in shaping the world of Canadian art.